Here are some tips that can help improve your ballpoint drawing and shading. The first tip is to use the right paper. Ballpoint pens work best on smooth paper with a bit of tooth to help the ink adhere. Avoid paper that is too textured or rough, as it can cause the pen to skip or catch on the surface. Vary your pressure. Ballpoint pens allow for a range of line widths depending on how much pressure you apply. Experiment with different pressures to create varied lines and textures in your drawing. Layer your shading. Ballpoint pens are not great for smooth, consistent shading like graphite or charcoal, but you can create shading by layering strokes of different densities and angles. Build up layers of ink to create darker areas and add depth to your drawing. Control your strokes. Ballpoint pens can be difficult to control because they are so precise. Practice using your whole arm to create smooth, flowing lines and curves. Try holding the pen at different angles and experimenting with different grips to find what works best for you. Take your time, ballpoint drawing requires patience and a steady hand. Don't rush through your work, and take breaks as needed to avoid cramping or fatigue. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep at it and don't get discouraged if your drawings don't turn out perfectly at first. Here are some do's and don'ts to keep in mind when working with ballpoint pens, dose, use good quality pens, High-quality ballpoint pens are important for achieving consistent and reliable lines. Look for pens with smooth ink flow and a comfortable grip. Experiment with different strokes. Ballpoint pens can create a variety of lines and textures depending on the angle and pressure applied. Practice using different strokes and techniques to achieve different effects. Start with light lines. When sketching out your drawing, use light lines that can be easily erased or covered up if needed. Once you're happy with the overall composition, you can start adding darker lines and shading. Use crosshatching for shading. Crosshatching is a technique where you create layers of diagonal lines that overlap each other to create shading. This technique works well with ballpoint pens and can create a wide range of tones. Keep your pen clean. Ballpoint pens can clog or run out of ink if they become dirty or damaged. Keep your pen clean by wiping it off on a scrap piece of paper between uses, and replace the pen tip if it becomes damaged or bent. Don'ts Press too hard, ballpoint pens are not designed for heavy pressure, and pressing too hard can damage the pen tip or cause the ink to bleed. Use a light touch and build up the ink gradually to create darker lines and shading. Use low-quality paper, ballpoint pens work best on smooth, high-quality paper. Avoid using low-quality paper that can cause the ink to bleed or smudge. Rush your drawing. Ballpoint drawing requires patience and precision. Take your time and focus on each line and stroke to achieve the best results. Use a ballpoint pen for everything. Ballpoint pens are great for line work and shading, but they are not the best choice for every type of drawing or medium. Experiment with different types of pens and drawing materials to find what works best for each project. Don't give up too easily, ballpoint drawing can be challenging, especially if you're new to the medium. Don't get discouraged if your drawings don't turn out perfectly at first. Keep practicing and experimenting with different techniques until you find what works best for you. If you're enjoying my content and haven't subscribed, subscribing will ensure that you never miss an update and will help me continue to grow my channel and create even more engaging content for you. Thank you again for your support, and I can't wait to continue sharing my journey with you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.